Hey guys, and welcome back to the car review. So, we have been waiting and waiting and waiting for, of course, the water and the wind Shadal Fusion Monsters to be revealed. And, you know, there have been speculations on various effects and stuff, but finally, at least one of them is confirmed. So, this is the wind one. So, wait, how a wind monster plus a Shadal I mean, What? What's wind? What's wi what, what possible wind would you run? I mean... Besides, if you're not running core, then really, what are you running? And what? And, and if you're on super poly, I mean, what? Who are you super polying with? What? Harpy ladies? Hermit yokai? Like, okay. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and look at the wind fusion monster here and determine whether it is good in comparison to the rest of them. So this is El Shadal Fandango. I mean, Windango. <laughs> so it is a wind psychic fusion effect monster. That is level 6 with pitiful, pitiful attack. Only 600 attack, but 2800D. So, Shikinaga's got you beat in both departments. Like, Shikinaga has more attack and more D than you. So, yeah. You know, and Shikinaga is easier to make. You know, Shadows, they run Mathematician. There's your Earth target. But wind? Like, I, I, I can't even think. I don't. I, is. I, Birdman? Is Birdman win? I think he is. Birdman? You can run Birdman. You can, like, you can, like, return and summon and then summon and synchro. So, Birdman? Besides Core, I said, I'm... <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and read its effect and determine whether you want to run that Birdman or should you just not run this guy at all. So, uh, first must be Fusion Summon. All right. You can only use the first effect of El Shadal Windingo once per turn. It's first effect. During either player's turn, you can target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle by your opponent's special summon monsters this turn. Effect number two. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell or trap in your graveyard added to your hand. Alright, so they all, all the fusions have that last effect. So that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at this first effect. So, pretty much... During either player's turn, you can target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle by an opponent's special summon monster this turn. That's it? That's it. God. That's shitty. Really, that's not good. That is not good. Like, wow. Alright. So, you're, you have 28. You're clearly not going to be summoning this in attack mode. Like, ever. It's 200 attack. So, 20... 2800 booty. That's 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 that, that's a nice booty, you know. Shikinaga is still Nikki Naga, but you're you're close second, you know. Yeah, you have a nice booty as well. But really you you target one one monster you control and it cannot be destroyed by battle from an opponent's special summoned monster this turn. That's it? That's all you do. So Instead of going into Construct, that's like a catastrophe for special summon monsters from the extra deck. Instead of going into, uh, you know, Midrash, who locks down and your opponent can't be destroyed by card, your opponent's card effects, and both players can only special summon once per turn. Instead of going to Niki Naga, that nice attack, 2600, nice defense with 3000, and uh, being like a freaking, um, uh, 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 Trap Trick Sharple Nightmare. Or Gristal, who's kind of like a freaking, um, you know, uh, Black Horn of Heaven. No. No, you're going to go into this. No. Like, in comparison to the others, this is definitely the weakest link, you know? You know, and, and what it requires to make it, too. Like, you know, of course you're going to have Dark, so, you know, uh, you know, Winda is the easiest to make. Because Shadal's a Dark, so it's just Shadal and Dark, so two Shadal's done. Now, Construct's a little bit harder, but depending on what uh, light targets you're going to run, really, you only have to run one, uh, you know, uh, Outstanding Dog, and you literally got all the Construct you want, because, you know, when uh, Outstanding Dog is sent to your graveyard, you get shuffled right back into the deck, so you always have that light target there for you. Um, uh, like I said, with Shiki Naga, you, of course, got a Mathematician, so there's your Earth target. In Gristal, it's a little bit more difficult to pull off, um, you know, you can run Volcanic Shell and pay 500 to get another Volcanic Shell, but no. Or you can run, you know, Fire and Ice Hand, because, you know, they're a little bit better than they were last format with uh, Kleeput, because, 
you know, you can go ahead and just go like, all right, fire hand, pop your monster, ice hand, pop your skill drain, or pop your uh, your uh, scout. So they're a little bit better than they were uh, before Kleeplet came out. So you can run fire and ice hand. So fire hand, of course, would be your uh, your Gristall target. But uh, uh, whatever the water one is, more, we don't know what that one is at the time that I'm currently doing this video. We don't know what the water one does. But if the water one's good, then you, of course, have ice hand. But like I said, wind? Wind. Like I said, what is... Uh, if this card was like the tit and really great, maybe I could see maybe a little bit of a, maybe, maybe, maybe some e tellies Are psychics fun? No, what are, what psychics have to win? I, I'm getting, what is that? Uh, Goose, Gustos? Gustos? Maybe? Birdman? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and, and when you're super polying, who are you going to get? Harpies? Hermit, I mean, yeah, Hermit Yokai, like, and then it's even worth it to summon this guy. No, this guy is not good, you know, like, he doesn't do anything, he doesn't protect anything, he doesn't, just, can't be destroyed by battle by an opponent's special summon monster this turn. So you just target, I'm assuming that you're going to target another monster, because, of course, well, you really don't need to worry about this guy being destroyed by battle unless your opponent summons a 3,000 monster you know, 2800, that's a solid defense. That's solid enough for this monster not to have this effect. So I'm assuming that you're going to be targeting a different monster and having it not be destroyed by battle by an opponent's special summon monster. They couldn't just say destroyed by battle this turn. You know, no, no. Special summon monster. So you're going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to summon Windingo in, you know, once per turn. During either player's turn, I can target one of my monsters, and it can't be destroyed by opponent's special summon monster, and I got a 28 D, ha, 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 And then, uh, Bujin player is gonna go, uh, summon Yamato attack crane. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, of course, you would go ahead and get your, uh, fusion back, but, really, like, this card's not good. It's not good, and I doubt it will be played. I'm, mm, -mm. So, does that mean that Konami is going to start stepping away from Shadal's, you know, start stepping back, being like, alright, you know, time to step away from Shadal's a little bit, start working on some new stuff, you know, because Shadal's, I mean, this this should this should be it. This should be your last pack, uh, this pack right here, uh, from, uh, what's it, Secrets of Eternity, you should have all six of your different attributes, so, that should be it. So, I shouldn't have to expect anything else from Shadal's, we'll go ahead and see the water, Maybe they'll get it, uh, you know, some more monsters, maybe a couple spells, but I, I'm not seeing much. I think that this might be it. So, uh, of course, um, the ban list is coming up soon, you know, in January. So, um, and of course, I do my ban list predictions early, about a month early. So, you know, expect my uh, ban list prediction uh, December 1st, probably. But uh, uh, while we're here, I want to hear what you guys think that they're going to do when hitting Shadals. I want to hear your guys' opinion. For hitting Shadals. Uh, you know, should we just go the OCG route? Should we just go ahead and uh, follow OCG? OCG, I think, did a fine job. You know, um, hitting Sinister Shadow Games, a fine hit, lowers the consistency because that, that, that card is literally like a foolish and a free flip. At the same time, it helps the deck's cons uh, consistency immense. You know, should we go ahead and put Construct and Winda down to one? You know, force them to play more Shiki Nagas or, you know, you, you know, it's like Spider Man, you only get one, so. You know, that, that, I think that would totally be fine. You know, should we hit maybe Hedgehog or Fusion, lower the consistency of getting those cards, lower the consistency of the Fusion? You know, in your opinion, what do you think Konami is going to do, you know? Um, well, do else. You know, I want to hear what you guys think we should do and what you think Konami is going to do. So go ahead and comment both. But, uh, you know, this should be interesting. You know, I think that OCG did it right. I totally think. No, Constructor 1, Window to 1, and, uh, and, um, and Sinister Shadow Games to one, I think that's totally fine. I think that was a totally fine and justifiable hit for that deck. So, um, yeah. So tell me what you guys think about not only this card, but what you guys think will be hit and, uh, and stalls. And, um, what do you guys think should be hit and what do you think Konami is going to do? Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So we got a ton of new cards revealed, so, uh, we got a lot of material to talk about. Uh, these upcoming Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I hope you guys are looking forward to another episode of Car Review next Tuesday. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.